There was once a professor of philosophy known for having particular classics. One day he arrives in class, goes to his desk, and takes out an empty drawer. Without saying a word, he takes rocks from his bag and put them one by one into the drawer. And here there is no more space in the drawer to add any more rocks. He then asks his students, is the drawer full? To which his students answer, yes. He then takes a box of pebbles and pours the pebble inside the drawer. The pebbles fall between the rocks and fill up the empty space. He then asks again to his students, is the drawer full? To which his students laugh and say, yes, now it is full. Without saying another word, the professor takes a bag of sand, starts bringing the sand into the drawer. He shakes a little bit the drawer to allow the sand to sift through all the pebbles and the rocks. And he then asks again to the students, is the drawer full? To which the students, starting to understand there's something going on, say, probably not. Then the professor takes a glass of water and pours it into the drawer. The professor then says, from this experiment, what lessons can you take? For life. One smart kid on the front row says, yes, I know it means that you can always do more. The professor says, no, that's not true. The rocks represent the important things in life. Family, friends, health, finance, your hobby, whatever the important things are for you. The pebbles and the sand are all the small things that fit in between. Browsing social media, transport, watching TV. If you fill your life with small things like pebbles and sand, you won't have any space left to bring the rocks that truly matters. Choose your rocks carefully as they will define what kind of life you will have. Now, I have a question for you. What are your current rocks in your life?